Without a doubt, Kanye West is the most divisive rapper that Hollywood has ever seen. And by that, I mean everything from exposing the most repulsive Hollywood secrets to showing how famous people sell their souls for fame. The issue now is, was Kanye right after all? He even revealed the shadowy forces of the business and how music was utilized as a tool to indoctrinate the populace. Of course, this will lead to his disappearance, as he amazingly foresaw. What is Ice Cube, his lifelong friend, saying about this whole situation? Has he just said that Kanye might be in danger? And what did he mean when he spoke of the elite group of gatekeepers in the business that supposedly plotted to ruin his career and get rid of Kanye? If if you didn't already know, Ice Cube and Kanye have a tumultuous connection. Their most recent major falling out occurred after Kanye made some contentious remarks about Cube while appearing on the Drink With Champs podcast. Ice Cube, whose true name is O'Shea Jackson Sr., of course disputed these claims and said, I am not anti-Semitic and never have been. The controversy started when Ye stated that Ice Cube was an inspiration for his anti-Semitic mood and thoughts. Later, Kanye explained that he was talking to particular Hollywood executives who had attempted to ruin his career, prevent him from expressing the truth, and even tried to kill him by placing him in a mental hospital and poisoning him. Why does Kanye know that the industry is working so hard to get rid of him? Why are they trying to make him seem like a mad person? And did you notice how no one truly comes out to say that Kanye's lying? They all just said he's insane, that's all. Anyway, let's dive into it and hold on, because Kanye's situation is not looking good, and there might be a probable plot to have him killed. They've attempted it once, I suppose. At a time like this, if I was on medication right now, then one, I could have been swapped out, and it would be Michael Jackson and Prince all over again. According to rumors, the Jewish doctor who misdiagnosed Kanye wished to get revenge on the rapper for his anti-Semitic remarks. Kanye also disclosed that, but because I didn't take the misdiagnosis and I didn't take the medication, I'm able to speak to you guys clear of thought and transparently. You want to know what's strange about these deaths? The fact that both of the musicians Ye named died of overdoses with Prince passing away from an accidental fentanyl overdose, while Jackson's death was judged to be homicide by his doctor. When they began speaking out and disclosing Hollywood's dirty tricks and all the wealthy elites who were secretly in charge of the stars, both men were killed. He further revealed how his handlers put him on a high dosage of lithium. He said, Ask them, how much lithium did you want to put me on exactly? It took them four days to answer because they were embarrassed about the amount, right? And I refuse to take this. He said that he knew if he had taken the medication, which by the way, was too strong for his condition, he admitted that he would have been a story. He claimed that this is exactly what they did to Britney while recalling how she was constantly worn out and was in a poor situation for a long time due to the drug damaging her brain. What's crazy about this is that Aaron Carter, a former 90s pop singer who tweeted support for Kanye and and expressed a want to speak with a in Paris rapper, was discovered dead in his bathtub just weeks after Kanye made the statement. Though it doesn't end here, Kanye's former personal trainer Harley Pasternak, I'll have you institutionalized again where they medicate the crap out of you and you go back to Zombieland forever. Now, why doesn't anyone outright refute the claim that Kanye is insane, especially since it's been made so frequently in the media? Why is it that his mental stability is being called into doubt in the media? media. What Kanye is saying must contain some element of truth, right? There's no possibility that all of these coincidences can continue to occur. When it happens once or twice, it's different, but it still follows the same pattern. There's obviously a problem, and Kanye might not be quite that crazy after all. And as for Ice Cube, he seems to have changed his mind, as he was seen happy and hugging Kanye just months after he claimed on Twitter that he had inspired his anti-Semitic views. So what caused Cube to reconsider? Amazingly, just a few weeks before the reunion, Cube posted a video on Twitter exposing Hollywood gatekeepers who supposedly sought to get rid of Kanye for speaking his truth. Some of you may not have realized um, that I'm not part of the club. And a lot of you listening to me right here, right now, you're not part of the club either. And what I realized with the club is 
what makes them so mad is when you don't want to be a part of the club that pisses them off. What club am I talking about? I'm talking about the club of gatekeepers. He further said that these gatekeepers, who allegedly control Hollywood from behind closed doors, have been attempting to ruin his career ever since he announced his contract with Black America. Fans quickly grasped what he's alluding to, even though he avoided naming any specific individuals or outlining the goals of the club. Then, Cube continued, I know he's trying to ruin my 3 on 3 basketball league. And he stated that this is exactly how your fate in Hollywood appears once you're not a member of the Gatekeepers Club. They attempt to sabotage you and work against you in the shadows. At that point, Cube announced he would begin giving interviews and appearing on podcasts because he believed it was his duty to expose the dirty little truths of the business. And he kept his word, since he later appeared on Joe Rogan's show to discuss how he rejected a $9 million movie after spotting a pattern. Do you now note how he also revealed how the media attempted to portray him as crazy simply because he rejected a $9 million movie deal that required him to receive the expected vaccine. The next stage will be to portray you as crazy in the media if you refuse to comply with requests. Producers talking to my people and they're like, if he don't take it, you know, we, we, he can't be in the movie. It's like, it's not taking it. It's not taking it. It's like, okay, can't do the movie. Okay, no problem. According to him, at first he didn't want to reveal his reasons for turning down his role, but somehow the news got leaked to the press and he was quickly tagged as anti-vaccine. Don't you think this has an agenda at this point? Like, were they attempting to get him fired since they couldn't get him to comply with their demands? Or perhaps they were attempting to scare him into submitting. And he supposedly saw firsthand how dangerous the business gatekeepers were, which is why he decided to make amends with Kanye, because he thought Kanye would be in danger. I'm talking about what happened to me, but it obviously happens everywhere to all of us. You know what I mean? And uh -huh. and we got to somehow, some way, get these people out of our way. Or... Um, not support what they're doing and producing. You know, some of these mainstream outlets are really just an extension of these corporate conglomerates. Want to, you know, kind of control our emotions, control our movement, control our spinning, control our personalities, our mind. You know, what are we going to do about it? We're going to just sit here and let it happen day after day, or are we going to stand up where we can? Even Ice Cube said in recent interviews that the reason Kanye was singled out as the source of his anti-Semitic remarks was because Ye was making generalizations rather than being specific. When he allegedly discovered that the gatekeepers in the industry were willing to silence anyone who dared speak out against them, he supposedly immediately sought out for Kanye for reconciliation. As for the relationship between him and Kanye, Cube revealed that they're on good terms and insisted they never really had any beef to begin with. When challenged about remarks made by Kanye in his interview with Drink Champ during his appearance with Pierce Morgan and Censored, Cube confessed that the only reason he, at the time, distanced himself from Ye was that Kanye didn't clarify what he meant in context. When he was asked about Kanye, he stated, I mean, we were always cool. He just, he spoke my name without really explaining what he meant. And I really couldn't leave that statement out there without, he never explained what he meant. Ice Cube then further explained that, and so I had to kind of rebut that, but since then we've talked. And I think Ye understands that generalizing will always get you in more hot water than being very specific. In his interview with Pierce Morgan, Ice Cube claimed that Kanye's error in generalizing was the reason he initially reacted in the way he did. He also claimed that Kanye is in a good space. Well, if what Ice is saying is accurate, we do hope that Kanye has a bounce back, despite still having to deal with those who are allegedly still trying to harm him and wreck his finances. Fans have conflicting perspectives about Ice Cube, with some calling him a sellout and conspiracy theorist, while others all praise Kanye West and Ice Cube, praising them for being courageous enough to openly challenge the industry's gatekeepers. One fan tweeted his criticism of Ice Cube that read, It's funny and weird how people will sit there and call Ice Cube a sellout 
all because he's not a victim and he's an independent thinker and he has the balls to go on a platform and discuss and talk about topics with a different perspective. Another fan tweeted, Ice Cube is a hotep and a sellout. Conservatives acting like he's the spokesperson for right-wing black folks, even though y'all burned NWE records in the 80s for criticizing the police and him being anti-vax is just BS. But another fan quickly came to his defense in a tweet that read, I feel bad for what the media is going to do to Ice Cube. They're going to give him the Kanye treatment. Well, they'll actually do worse to him because he is a clear thinking individual. He's really speaking out for the people. I've been down with Ice Cube since day one. But let's hear your opinions on this. How do you feel about Cube and Kanye's reconciliation? Do you believe Ye was targeted by the industry gatekeepers? Please leave a comment below.